Time for yet another event report from Built to Battle 2017. This was a week after Small Bots of Destruction, giving me not a whole lot of time to prep robots for this event. So I more or less went out with two of the bots I'd had the week previous, Little Demon and Sawin, and in an attempt to make something quickly and experiment with new technology at the same time, or new to me technology, I 3D printed out an ant weight and just called it Neanderthal Roomba since I'd already used that name on a lame push button a while back. And I didn't really want to waste a good robot name that required thought on a crappy wedge. So as per usual, I'll go through all three robots, talk about their fights, and how everything went. So this event didn't have like builder's database registration. It was mostly just people on the Facebook group talking about who was actually showing up. So I think there was only two real UK ants there. I believe Team X ended up kind of slapping one together at the last minute. But I did get one fight in the first fight of the day and unfortunately I didn't grab footage of it because I forgot to put my SD card in my camera. But I took on Micro Sparky. From what I remember, I got some decent hits in on him. I think both of us were having some trouble driving. But part way through the match, my motor came apart. The entire front end of the Brussels motor separated from the back end, and I didn't really think much of it. I assumed something had become disconnected and it flew off and it would just be a slap back together fix. Did not realize until later that the shaft inside the motor had actually snapped. So I think that really convinces me that next time I do need to support the opposite end of the shaft. I had originally intended to do that and run out of weight budget to follow through on it. So I think maybe I'll 3D print up the next chassis and include that and hopefully it won't be as heavy. Next up we'll look at Neanderthal Roomba, the quickie 3D printed thing. And if you could hear that noise in the background, I'm currently doing more 3D printing, getting to know the machine a little better. So this was a very early prototype. I literally got the printer like a couple days before the event and really within the span of a week kind of gave myself a crash course in how to use it and didn't have a whole lot of time to experiment and do designs over again. So I made a lot of flaws with this robot which I learned from quite a bit but one of the biggest flaws that I could have prevented were the drive motors. The drive motors are the 50 to 1 Copal motors but I have the 12 volt versions so this thing was like servo bot slow at 11 volts. So that was pretty bad. Its first fight was up against Batter Blaster from Team X. I think one of the few robots on their team I haven't faced before. It's a full body spinner made from a bowl or a colander or something of that nature. And he was having a little trouble driving. He was spinning all right, but his teeth were kind of pointed at an angle. So I don't think they were getting a very good grip on most of my bot, especially when I had the wedge pointed at him. So I pushed him around for a lot of the fight. It was pretty uneventful. Full. If he'd been able to drive, he would have just mopped the floor with me because being so slow, I was just an easy, easy target. Next up was against Little B, which was a doorstop shaped wedge. This thing I think was using the Kitbot's 1000 RPM motors, I'm pretty certain, and he was much, much faster than me. So it made it pretty easy for him to just drive me around all over the place. When we went head to head, my wedge was wedgier, so I was able to get under him, but because I was so slow, he was able to just spin around and come in from the side and completely negate my one advantage over him. He was also able to carry me really close to the pit on many, many occasions. I got him near the pit a couple times, but I just could not get him to actually fall into the pit itself. And the battle was about as back and forth as I think it could have been given the circumstances is and I think it was actually ruled a tie. Not really sure how that happens, but yeah, that's what I guess happened. Round three and round four for me were up against Werewolf, another Team X bot with a very, very large spinning blade on it. And the first time was really fast. I went across the arena, they hit me, the blade went right in between my Lexan top armor and the robot itself, separated that top armor and spilled my guts all over the place and I tapped out immediately. The second time, and I'm not really even sure how these brackets worked because I fought two robots twice with, in different weight classes. So I'm not really sure how things were being tallied or calculated, but I was up against Werewolf again. And this time I just kept going as much as I could. I let him chew up the wedge. I let him chew up all the crappy 3D printed parts. On this robot, I had had to drill out some of the holes because I didn't realize that I'd made some kind of errors in design. So that further weakened the already kind of weak PLA. I think I only did like a 20% infill on it as well, which 
made it extra weak. So it was a fun fight in terms of he just ripped parts off of me. Eventually he ripped the top armor off my robot again. I decided to try to use that as a tool and try to push that into him to slow down his blade. Any chance I got where I could slow down his blade, I kind of tried to get closer in, tried to push him around a little bit. But without top armor especially, any chance of that weapon blade spinning up was just kind of terrifying. Actually, about midway through the fight, I decided to try to end it and just give him the win, but I found I couldn't even drive myself into the pit, which is pretty pathetic. So I kept going, and the last little bit of the fight, I did kind of hang out on the other side of the arena, just because I don't think I really could have taken any more damage, but it was some fun destruction. And you can see the entire front end of the bot was torn off in the process. It was all bent up, it was no longer a wedge, his end was crumpled in. Granted, it's like the thinnest aluminum ever. It is pretty ripped up, lots of good scratches on there. And even around the back of the bot, he took a nice chunk, or a couple nice chunks, out of the back of the robot frame. Last but not least is Sawin and coming after the kind of savage beating it took multiple times at small bots, I wasn't really anticipating much out of this robot. I did just leave in the silver sparks for drive as I put in at the end of the last event, just because I didn't want to deal with all the headaches around Brussels drive this time. First fight was against Carnage, which was a rematch a week later. They got that blade to stay on the robot a lot better after the last event. Actually midway through the event, they fixed that blade and were able to to just keep it from falling off like it did last time. That was a lot of fun though. I got to get in, get some really good hits on him, pop him up in the air a few times. I felt like I found like the magic level for the throttle where it would actually hit the robot and toss it instead of just grinding on metal. Unfortunately, I was never able to replicate that speed again because I found out later that I had forgotten to charge the battery and the live poly was almost completely empty by the end of this fight. So the drum was never really spinning at the speed it was supposed to spin. So that amount of throttle never quite copied the same results again. But I got some decent hits in. He's a very large robot, so he's very hard to get really good air off of because the other end of the robot's hitting the ground almost as fast as the one end's leaving. Eventually, he just kind of stopped moving, so I got that win. Second fight was against Hexy's Revenge, another one of Team X's robots, and I guess this was my opportunity to get some revenge for Little Demon getting thrown across the arena by him in that grudge match last week. Once again, I was able to get some good hits in on him. I actually had a charge battery this time. They have a hinged wedge which kind of got stuck up in the air pretty early because they were spinning in circles. So it gave me a really nice target to hit and pop him up in the air with. So I was able to land a couple good hits. I was able to flip him over on top of me and grind away at the bottom of them a little bit, pick him up and throw him to the corner. Doing all the things that I really hoped this robot would do and just doesn't seem to be able to do consistently. Eventually on one of the hits, they lost the tread on one of their wheels. So I guess they lost a lot of mobility with that. They started spinning a lot more and I just kept going in and hitting them. Eventually I managed to flip them upside down and they kept going. Then I kind of got in underneath them. I hit their wheel again. I think I managed to do some decent damage there where the wheels were no longer able to hit the ground and get traction. And I believe they tapped out or were counted out. I can't really tell. The people timing the match were on the opposite end of the arena from me and I couldn't hear anything. So I kind of had to look for visual cues that the match was even over. Third and fourth fight in a similar theme to the Antway Division being against the same robot was against Dead End, which is a really nasty horizontal spinner. And we we went in, went weapon to weapon. I always love horizontal versus vertical spinner matches. I mean, I don't like actually fighting them because they're really hard to win, but you always get some cool hits out of it. He managed to flip saw one upside down and I chopped down the upper rails that usually kind of make him either invertible or high centered upside down. And because it seemed to vary depending on what I was doing, I just cut them off and figured the drum would hit the ground and hopefully self right me. And that was actually done at the event last weekend. But this time was the first time I'd actually gotten flipped under those circumstances. And it acted like a crazy wheel bringing me all over the arena, including the pit. So the last match, which I believe was technically the finals, I think the winner was the, the actual winner of the Beetleweight class. We went back at each other. It's very similar hits, vertical versus horizontal. But pretty early on, he cut one of my wheels off, which I believe actually high-centered me for a bit. But he came in and hit me again. I was able to get moving again. Went weapon to weapon a few more times. Unfortunately, by crab 
stop walking, I really couldn't get anywhere close to him anytime quickly. And I ended up kind of just floundering closer and closer to the pit. He managed to flip me again, but this time my weapon wasn't quite so much of a wheel, but still kind of ground around on the floor. He managed to flip himself over, which I'm not even sure how the hell that happened. Then he hit me one more time on my one good drive wheel, slamming me against the wall and rendering me immobile. So I haven't even cracked this thing open and really taken a look yet, but I'm assuming my ESC came loose again or something of that nature because I had absolutely no movement on that side, but my weapon was still going and my wheelless hub on the opposite side of the bot was still going. So whatever the damage is, it's just to that side of drive, which really makes me wish I'd kept that wheel on a little longer. Still, a very well-deserved win on his part. The robot hits very, very hard. It was fun to fight against. So that was it for Built to Battle. Sawin did better than I thought he would. Little Demon didn't get to fight as much as I hoped he would. And Neanderthal Roomba performed exactly how I expected. This time I actually have a bit of a break between events. Or I guess I should think of it more as time to put robots together and not make them suck for once. Little Demon is the only one of these three I want to bring back. I want to 3D print his frame, add more support to the opposite side of the motor. I already have a replacement motor ready to go. I kind of thinking about trying to beef up the front wedge a little bit to allow it to get under some of those more dangerous pushers, which is kind of an oxymoron, but to me, they're dangerous. The ant weight, I have a really cool, or at least I think it's cool idea that I'm working on. I'm very excited about it but I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about it for now just so it's a little more of a surprise closer to the event not that it's super innovative or anything but whatever and I think I've already shown off a little bit of what my plans for a three pounder are I was hoping to have demon spawn ready two weeks ago now and unfortunately I haven't been able to get the parts in I'm gonna try to 3d print some of the things that I don't have and hopefully I'll be able to get that together and finally up and running so I could have a beetle I could be a little more proud of so that being said Time to get back to work and build more robots, and I'll see you in the next video.